Hi, I'm Mike Nickerson from the Department of Food and Bioproduct Sciences at the University of Saskatchewan. Today I want to talk to you about emulsification capacity. Now emulsions are basically a mixture of two immiscible liquids in which one is dispersed as droplets in the continuous phase of the other. Emulsions and emulsification capacity is a really important parameter to measure because it tells us a lot about how the protein behaves as an emulsifier as a food ingredient. Now emulsification is basically the amount of oil that the protein can hold prior to reaching the inversion point in which uh, oil and water emulsion transforms into a, a water and oil emulsion. So let's demonstrate it and see how we measure that. Weigh two grams of protein solution into a conical 50 milliliter centrifuge tube. Then add three grams of oil to that tube. Next, place the homogenizer probe into the tube so that the bottom of the probe blade is positioned at the oil-water interface. Homogenize the mixture for 5 minutes at speed 4. Measure the conductivity of the emulsion, making sure that the conductivity probe is fully immersed in the emulsion. Record the conductivity for the amount of oil used. You may notice the reading may fluctuate a little. That's normal. For the next emulsion in our series, Add 6 grams of oil to 2 grams of protein solution already weighed into a 50 milliliter centrifuge tube. Homogenize for 5 minutes at speed 4. Measure the conductivity of the emulsion. The conductivity of the second emulsion was much lower than the first, indicating that a water and oil emulsion was formed rather than an oil and water emulsion. You can observe visually the differences between the two emulsion types. The oil and water emulsion on the right tends to be much thicker and creamier looking than the water and oil emulsion on the left. Now that a range between 3 and 6 grams of oil has been found, you want to make up a series of emulsions with oil contents over a finer concentration range to give a more accurate inversion point. To calculate the emulsion capacity, take the average weight of oil added before and after the inversion point and convert it to grams of oil per gram of protein based on the protein concentration used.